says the actual impact of AI has been minimal so far, but has the potential to transform healthcare. Here on set with us is Dr. Ronald Rosmi. He's a cardiologist and co-founder and managing director of Zoe Capital, a VC firm that invests in the applications of AI in healthcare. Ron, welcome. Good to have you with us. I should point out that you're also uh, an MBA, so you're an MD, an MBA, and a real slacker, clearly, <laughs> and, and author of, of that new book, AI Doctor, The Rise of Artificial Intelligence in Healthcare. An hour ago, uh, Jamie Dimon said uh, on our air, I think AI is going to cure cancer. Do you agree with him? I agree with him, but not tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So Newsweek did an article about my book, and they also started with how quickly are we going to see all of these massive gains in healthcare delivery and medical research uh, from artificial intelligence. And I, was, I managed to convince them that it's going to take a couple of decades before we see some of these very ambitious benefits. There are things we could see tomorrow improving in healthcare delivery, making healthcare more precise and more convenient. However, the lofty ambitions around curing cancer and unlocking the secrets of the human body, that is going to take longer. Let's talk about where the impact of AI may be felt most uh, immediately. And my guess would be it would be in areas where the bureaucracy is deep and thick uh, and there's a lot of brush that needs to be cleared away, potentially in terms of uh, better and quicker and more accurate diagnoses of, uh, of scans and tests and things like that. Where is the most immediate impact of AI going to be felt? And are those investable opportunities? Absolutely. So um, at Zoe Capital, we actually have a thesis on short-term, medium-term, and long-term applications of AI in healthcare. And the most immediate applications we're focused on are administrative and operational. Delivering healthcare takes a lot of effort. It's human resources intensive. It requires a lot of financial capital investment. So uh, being able to do some of the heavy lifting using technology is how we're going to make delivery of health, making healthcare more accessible, uh, improving quality, because everything doesn't need to be done manually. So right now we're focusing on operational and administrative use case. Some of those basic clinical use cases like radiology, pathology, and dermatology. However, in the mid to long term, it's, gonna, its greatest impact is going to be in medical research and um, unlocking. Drug development? Drug development has been an area where investors have lost a lot of money in AI and drug discovery because they thought it was going to take a shorter amount of time than it actually has. Uh, a lot of the companies that have gone public, as a matter of fact, uh, Zoe Capital was conceived with my, when my partner, Brian Beeler, who was part of the team that built uh, Horizon Therapeutics to a $30 billion company, uh, he and I started looking at why AI was not gaining any traction in healthcare. And he had looked at a lot of the uh, drug discovery uh, AI applications and seen that, although promising, uh, bringing it to fruition, time. it's going to take a long time. Yeah. I'm struck that Jamie Dimon sounds much more optimistic about AI and healthcare than you do. <laughs> and, and I wonder if that's because once you're on the ground, you realize, to Tyler's point, how many barriers there are towards it's You can't just kind of flip some switches and have this really take off. I mean, there's tremendous inertia and, and kind of hurdles and, and things like that. And the, just as the technology evolves, you mentioned that the companies that haven't been successful, like Babylon and Olive, and all this capital people have poured into the space that has really failed to deliver. So do you actually feel that optimistic about how AI can transform the medical industry? Yes, absolutely. I absolutely do. However, uh, every application is not going to gain immediate adoption. So my book is actually a business book about how you need to do the type of analysis up front to see if the business case for the application you're building is strong enough where the buyers who are being bombarded with different types of products uh, can decide, yes, I want to go ahead with this because this addresses a mission-critical need for me. You, you need to look at the data issues to see if the data is going to be available in the real world right. for it to deliver a value or the clinical workflows. Does it fit within existing, uh, exactly. within existing workflows?